Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Patani in the very far south of Thailand. And today I'm going on a street food tour, a Patani local street food tour with my friend Yasin from Yes I Go. He makes videos about food and travel. And today, yeah, we're gonna go on a Patani street food tour, but focusing on five of the main dishes that you have to eat when you come to Patani, that represent Patani. I'm gonna share all the food with you, five dishes that you have to eat when you come to Patani, Southern Thailand. It's actually man? really early morning. They, yeah. This restaurant opened at 6, but this is the way people came oh, here yeah. already. Let's go. Hey, what's, the, what's the name of this place, this roti shop? Uh, roti Wema. Uh, we are here bright and early to begin this street food tour, so the first thing that you have to eat in Patani, roti. Oh, they make fried okay. first, but then put over the top. Awesome, awesome roti shop. They're just flying on the roti station. There's many orders are starting to come in, both for takeaway people are starting to come, the morning rush. And she is a master of roti, and we, we got the special egg roti, so that's with the Thai dao with the fried egg. So she fries the egg in the center, and then takes a, a finished roti, puts that on top, and then flips it back to the other side, so you have the egg white underneath the, the yolk nestled within the roti. Yasin, what are you eating? Great sticky rice and shrimps up here. Okay. There's curry sauce and there's uh, tua, which it's kind of like a doll. And then we got also just the plain roti that comes with, it comes with uh, condensed milk, it comes with curry, it comes with sugar. So you can kind of choose your dipping, choose your sauce, choose your, what if you're going salty or sweet for breakfast. But yeah, again, the crispiness, the flakiness of the roti just looks perfect. They just squish it in their hands, they like clap it clap it to get it crisp. Oh, that texture you can feel in your fingers already. Yeah, that texture is amazing. The layers, the flakiness, the crispiness, and the gooiness all at the same time. Okay, yep. I'll go for it too. Wow. That's oh, a little man. crunchy, bro. And it's no oily. Little, oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That texture is unbelievable. It's like a science texture of roti. Perfect. We made them running this restaurant almost 40 years, so it's the reason. Huh? Yeah, it has so many layers. It's flaky, there's little transparent layers. It's crispy and gooey all at the same time. It's awesome. Mm, wow. It's good for kid, bro. Really. Next up to try that curry, the curry sauce. Wow, it's a little bit sweet, but it's so comforting, so soothing in the morning. You can taste the spices, the, I think coconut milk, the richness of it. And again, just soaked up into that crispy, gooey roti. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's like a sweet doll. Yep. yep. Oh, it's beans, but it's sweet. Oh, I didn't know that, okay. They add all sugar in here. <laughs> Yeah, that one is pretty. But it's good, really. It's good like one. a, it's like a jam made of beans. Mm, okay, if you're expecting it to be sweet, I think it's pretty good actually. Um, a little bit starchy and sweet and and beany. And then for the egg roti, sprinkle on some pepper. This way, some of us eating pepper and pepper, and Maggi and sauce. Maggi sauce and sometimes ketchup. And sometimes ketchup. Yep. Oh yeah, I saw people eat with ketchup sometimes, huh? Um, go straight into that yolk. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the best thing about the egg roti. The fried egg, and I love how she does it so the yolk is on the bottom, so it's cradled within the roti. Um, and then the white is on the top. Again, just sucked up. And then just all, all of that yolk, all of that roti. The base 
the base of roti. That is a sensational roti. And just with the richness of the egg, that is a meal on a plate. Mm. You think this is the one of the best roti in, yep, yep. in Patani? When, when I had like bike time in the morning, and then we're gonna finish from here. And for me, this is the best restaurant, best, best roti place ever in Patani. For me and for many one, yeah. It is amazingly good though. The thing made them special. Yeah, the thing made them special is roti. But for this curry, roti. this bean is actually no more taste for us. But this roti is crunchy and here. Oh wow! I think I like just the plain roti because you can really taste the the flakiness more. I think this is the highlight. That roti. It's actually perfect. They have it down to a science. Sugar. Yeah, no sugar, no milk. I'm kind of boring when it comes to my tea. I like the just straight, straight, it's kind of like red tea. An awesome, awesome place to get your morning roti. Are they open in the evening too, or just the, is this uh, yeah, just but, a morning yeah, spot? This restaurant, yeah. At 4 till 8. Oh, they're not going to eat. They're not going to eat. They're not going to eat. Oh, that was great. Crazy. Just three dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Such an impressively good roti. Without a doubt, one of the best rotis I've ever had. The crispiness, they have it down to a science. The crispy, flaky, gooiness all together. And again, the place is called Roti Wema. So that wraps up the first street food that you must eat when you come to Patani. And we are on our way to the next place. And we gotta move now because a lot of the street foods are available in the morning for breakfast. Uh, so we've got a lot to eat. I think almost everything this morning. They're gonna finish at nine and we have to be at Kaikole around eight. So. Okay, where are, we, where are we going next? What's next on the food tour? Kaoya, just nearby here, just two, three minutes. Yeah. Or, oh, you brought the ukulele. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, play us a song as we... As we're going to the next place. Uh, so next place we're going to eat is uh, Kao Yam or Nasi Caribou, uh, which is the herbal rice salad. It's extremely popular. You'll find it everywhere for breakfast uh, within this area. Uh, and uh, it's the best local food. Number one. Number one. Okay. Is that my heart will go on? Yeah. <laughs> it's here. Oh, it's right here? Oh, we're at the market. This is really the best local market. Okay, we made it. Next spot on this food tour is conveniently exactly down the road, like a hundred meters from Roti. And we're here to eat, yeah, Kao Yam Nasi Caribou, it's called locally, the mixed rice salad. And we're at a little breakfast market here. ไม่ต้องไม่ต้องใส่ถุงตะบัวใส่ถุงเขาเสียเสียใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใ
I think that's good to go. So you gotta really mix it up because you gotta ever get, get everything mingled, everything mixed. You gotta get the voodoo covering all the pieces of rice. You gotta get the herbs evenly distributed. The egg as well. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh that's extraordinary. That is amazing. <laughs> Send up. Send up. Send up. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, you man. The egg as well. Oh, we I forgot the egg? egg. Sorry, man. Oh, no problem, no problem. <laughs> oh, it comes with an egg. Yeah. That mixture of herbs, unbelievably flavorful. The umami of the fermented voodoo. It's not sweet. It's just salty. It's sour, the, the squeeze of lime juice. The crunch of the herbs, the different textures. It's a textural dream with the noodles in there, too. Oh, it's just superb. That is unbelievable flavor. I think the flavor of the dressing is what really makes it. Um, oh man, that's 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 just extraordinary. Wonderful. It's a little bit of a big bite to balance on the small spoon. Mm. One of my favorite breakfasts in the world. What? The best breakfast? Any kind of call you on my little bit. Wow. That is so good. So extraordinarily good. Mm. And for the herbs and the vegetables, you taste um you taste the bean sprouts. There might be um cashew tree leaves in there. I think there's the baipahom, which is one of the main herbs of uh Kao Yam. There is slices of cucumbers. Oh, there's green mango, I believe, too, giving it an extra tartness, an extra acidity. Man, that's good. And I think she even puts black pepper in there, too. Wow. Extraordinary. Mm. <laughs> Send up. Send up. Send up. Oh, I love it. Oh, man. And people here are so nice. So unbelievably friendly. All right, man. Kao Yam in Patani. It really is the best taste of anywhere. I think because of the voodoo, because of the balance of flavor, the herb mixture, it is unbelievable. I love it. I love it so much. It gives you just energy. Okay, we gotta move on to the next place, another breakfast. And it's another breakfast that I love, that I cannot get enough of in Patani. Next up on this top five street food in Patani, we are eating a dish. It's called nasi dage or nasi dagang. It is one of my favorite dishes. Okay, I've said this about the other dishes too, but this really is something that I cannot eat enough of in Patani. It is a combination, the rice is, even the rice is special uh, because it's cooked with fenugreek. It comes with a fish curry, which is a type of tuna, a tuna fish curry. Uh, they put on, I think some coconut, I'm not totally sure, a half, uh, 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 a type of special boiled egg, which I believe that it's boiled in teak wood leaves, um, and also shallot skins, and also some fragrant herbs to, to give it that color. And then also it looks like there's some chili on their eggs as well. Um, then it's served with the banana chili, and then it's served with a curry sauce all over it that's kind of nutty, that's creamy, uh, full of coconut milk. This is one of the ultimate things you can eat for breakfast, one of the ultimate street foods you can eat in Patani. So when you order, they pack it up in, wrap it in a banana leaf, and then in a piece of paper, wrap it up into a triangle, and you open it up. Um, and so they put every, all the components in there, the fenugreek rice, uh, that's actually shrimp. It's like dried shrimp heads for the sauce. They keep it on the side for takeaways. All over the egg, all over the chilies, all over the fish. Oh, that smells so incredibly good. Oh man, the fenugreek, the egg, the green chilies. This, what a dish. Okay, for my first bite, I'll go in for the egg. I'll try to get a bit of everything, I think. Um, a bit of the egg. 
And look at the, yeah, the texture of that egg, just, just uh, putting your spoon into it. It's so, uh, like it just snaps, I think because it's been boiled for so long. Gotta get a little bit of that fish. The egg, the rice, and gotta get that green chili on top. That makes it. Yeah. Excuse me, these old fish, like kind of macro. Old fish. Yeah. It's a type of tuna. It's a type of tuna. Yeah. They surprise like you eat a, a chili. I you pet You brain and you like you eating that chili. I'm getting pet pet hug. You got oh my mark. Bro, Sit down. It's so good. <laughs> like the coconut milk curry is sweet and salty, and you just taste the depth of herbs and spices in that paste. And the texture of the egg is incredible too. It has this amazing snap to it. Like it's cartilagey. It tastes like cartilage. It feels like cartilage on your tongue. <laughs> Just amazing. The the banana chili is sweet, and I think it's been cooked in the curry sauce because it's so flavorful. Wow. That's spicy. That is a wake up call in the morning. That is extraordinary. I love this dish. Mm. And, and just the way the rice, the fenugreek rice, is so fluffy and so individual. For you, she said. <laughs> yes. Some reups on the chilies. There we go. And the texture of that egg, yeah. Oh man. Oh, wow, it's good. <laughs> and I shaved one chili for the end. Mm. Oh wow. I love nasi dage and their version, absolutely incredible. Joy wrapped in a banana leaf for breakfast. Roll it up. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. Just incredible family that runs the restaurant. And that is incredible. That's number three out of the top five uh, street foods that you must eat when you come to Patani. So we have two left, yeah? Yeah, we have two right? left, yep. Fresh chicken. Oh, okay. Oh, they're just making it now. Oh, perfect. Next up on this street food tour of Patani, we are eating, this is one of, un, okay, I keep saying this, but this really, again, is one of the greatest things that you have to eat when you come to Patani. It's called gaigale, which is a special type of grilled chicken with a coconut milk barbecue sauce. They have their own street? Yeah. <laughs> they have their own <laughs> soy. Yeah, the streets we have, like, like ram kumut, and the way they wrote just, you know, straight ram, ayam, golek, I am going to right? Yeah. yeah. It's Gawi. Just oh. serious, I'm just serious. I wish you guys could smell like us right now. Yeah, I it is incredible. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. And she said she gotta do this. Four times. When finished, ah, you gotta shot again. Like, put it yes, in again. Put the sauce again, and repeat that four times. Wow. Four times. They not only have chicken, but they have shellfish. So these are cockles in the same galais style, grilling style. That thick sauce, coconut milk, chilies. Uh, I think there's palm sugar. There's, that recipe is all in that sauce, that flavor. Oh man, this entire corner, probably the entire city, can smell the, the smoke and the delicious aroma coming out of this corner. 
the reason why this type of gaigale is hard to find, why it's not available everywhere, is because of the process, the, the time that it takes to make it well like this, perfect like this. She has to do the process four times, four coats of the sauce. Now we're moving on to round three of the coating. And she is so incredibly nice. Uh, she's telling us that this recipe has come, just passed down from generation to generation. She's been selling for 20 years, but I think her uh, elders and her family members have been selling before that and before that for generations in Patani. A work of love. It's a work of just, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a craft, a skill, uh, making gaigale passed down from generation to generation. And I'm pretty sure she's on the last round, the last, uh, the last grill, the last uh, lathering in coconut milk barbecue sauce we're about to eat. My mouth is watering. I didn't even know they have such a diversity of different meats available from the cockles to chicken wings to chicken necks and chicken feet, chicken feet galette to the chicken breast to the chicken uh, thighs to fish, even fish. And so I think they're just preparing us kind of some mixed plates so we can try everything. I've never been so excited to eat grilled chicken in my life and this is some uh, literally without a doubt, some of the best grilled chicken in the world. They put four coats of the sauce on it, grilled it four times, four rounds, and you can see how every time it just crisp more, gets more and more crispy, more and more caramelized, more of the sauce sticks to the meat. I wanna maximize the sauce, yeah, okay. Right way. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That is beyond insane, beyond flavor. Oh man. Mm. Wow. It melts in the mouth, bro. Like, wow. So good. Wow. Gusto well. The real deal, Gale. The fragrance of the chilies, the sweet coconut milk way. This grilled chicken will take your breath away. That's how good it is. Look at the thickness of that sauce and how it's just caramelized and stuck, dehydrated onto the chicken. It's out up. You're gonna wanna have a, a mustache with that sauce. And maybe even keep it there for, for later, keep it on your lips. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the, the cockles. Mm -hmm. wow. Amazing too. Amazing sauce. I think you could put this sauce on anything and it would be amazing. It probably tastes good on cardboard. It's that good. Yeah. <laughs> but the cockles have a totally different texture, more like squid, like squid. Wow. Really good. And you normally eat it with sticky rice, right? Sticky rice and go for some of the, the fish. Right, cool. hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this chicken leg. Oh. Literally everything you put that sauce on and grill it. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, and with the sticky rice, that that is just a perfect harmony too. This Are these chicken feet, chicken feet yep. or chicken legs, here. Yeah? All the different chicken pieces. Yep. From the leg and the foot. And this chicken neck. <laughs> oh, I want a neck actually. And the bone too, right? Bone, bro. Oh, yep. oh mm. yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. You can crunch all the way through the bone. There's so many textures going on. Um, the foot, right? Mm -hmm. Boned and off? Yep. Wow. Bone is soft, bro. Oh yeah, bone yeah, is soft. soft. Mm. I don't think I ever eat all the, the, feet, the feet bones in the chicken. Mm. Wow. A little bit yeah. crunchy. Though the way that they've cooked it and the sauce just coating it, everything and going into the meat. Going all the way, it goes all the way to the bone. Sticky rice, I'm gonna grab a piece off this drumstick here. <laughs> Oh, look at that, that sauce. Oh, I want to take a bite. I want to take a bath in that sauce. Oh, wow. <laughs> With the drumstick. You're gonna, you're gonna lick every drop off your finger. Literally, your mouth can hardly believe that flavor. 
Oh man, just the balance, the harmony of that flavor, the sweetness, the coconut milk, the richness, the nuttiness, the saltiness, the fragrance of it. It's not spicy, but it's so fragrant from chilies. Man, they are doing just outstanding things on this corner in Patani. I think it was number four. Number four. And you do not want to miss Kaigale. So next up, might stop by the Central Mosque. And then after that, we'll complete this tour with one more dish that you have to eat when you come to Patani. Thank So we're stopping by the central mosque of Patani. Some say it's similar kind of to the to the uh, Taj Mahal, right? Yes. Or is it based on the, the Taj Mahal? The idol of this mosque is Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. But, yeah. but the alphabet is Arabic. The central mosque of Patani. It was built in 1954. It took nine years to build and it is the most important, the most elegantly designed mosque in Thailand. And it's just spectacular to look at both from the outside with its Taj Mahal-like appearance with the domes uh, and also the inside with the checkered floor, marble checkered, checkered floor uh, with a pool in the front view. And then when you're here, uh, it's surrounded by date palm trees. It really has an appearance like the Middle East because especially of the date palm trees that are surrounding and this entire courtyard section. So peaceful, so beautiful. Okay, we are moving on and continuing on this tour. Where are we going next? We're gonna go to a local food, really famous here. We call it satay. The special, the special is, is sauce, bro. Chicken and beef, okay. Grilling beef right now. <laughs> oh, oh, she's gonna put on some chicken right now, too. Our two main food here, which is satay, the one we mentioned about, and this one is roja. Something ah. like a salad and little noodles here. Ah, any, any, what you like, huh? It's been cow, huh? Cow, huh? What is it? The name of it? Khao Pan. Khao Pan. <laughs> so cool, bro. <laughs> okay, so we've got the two different dishes, the rojak, which is this just amazing plate of noodles and cucumbers and crunchy pieces and eggs, and she just smothers it in a peanut chili looking sauce. Um, but then, yeah, this is the, the main event here, which is the satay, the mix of chicken and beef. And then comes with the, the cubed rice, cubed rice compressed, it's the compressed rice, rice cakes. Um, and then again, just completely smothered in the, the peanut sauce. Yeah, me too? Yes. You gotta have one skewer, you gotta have one bite with me, man. Let me go for... Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good yeah, shot. Yeah, okay, yeah. cheers, man. You go for chicken? No, I had beef. Beef, oh, me too. Oh, wow. Well, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, it tastes very Javanese. Javanese, Indonesian. Japanese? Java. Java. Like the ah, island Japanese. of Java. Ah, no, yeah. Actually, and I think there's some influence here in Patani from Java, right? Never from fishing that. and traders. And then you pick up the rice cubes, the compressed rice. Mm. 
and that's how it makes it a complete meal. You've got the meat, you've got the rice, you've got the sauce all over. The rice cake is completely neutral. It's just compressed rice. Um, you even do feel the grains of rice, but at the same time you feel the kind of like mushiness of it as well. And then finally you gotta chase it with some of the, the salad. And there's a little bit of ginger in here too, chilies. Mm. Oh, yeah. And that's the complete satay experience in your mouth. With the way we eat, we put little sauce here, okay. little spicy sauce. You gotta try, bro. I don't like spicy. Oh yeah, so. you don't like spicy? Yeah. No. Oh man. Add a little bit of that chili sauce. Oh yeah, you can smell the fumes of it. You can smell the, the spice of it. So you take that and kind of stir it around into the sauce so you can set your own spicy level. Wow. Okay, I thought the I thought the beef was going to be the clear winner. The chicken is actually incredible. That texture, you can feel the bounciness of it. That turmeric in there, it has a lemongrass taste to it. And then with that extra chili, oh yeah, that bumps it up. That is wonderful. All right, let's try the rojak. Are you supposed to mix it around or just eat it? You got to mix it. Yeah. There's eggs. There's noodles. Oh, there's lettuce down here. There's salad, the whole salad down there. Cucumbers. This cr crunchy, like... Ah, oh, okay. It made from shrimp. All these crunchy pieces? Yep, shrimp ah, okay. and fried. All right. Mmm. Again, that peanut sauce. It's very similar to the saute sauce. It's peanuty, you can taste the kind of a sweet chili. And yeah, it's sweet. You've got so many different textures going on from the thin noodles to the, the crispy bits to the, to the cucumber. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna add on a little bit more chili to this bite. From the sweet, warm, rich peanut sauce to the salty, lemongrass, herbaceous, smoky meat underneath. I got everything right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got the I feel different without holding the camera. <laughs> Just 65. Two yes. dishes. There. Yes. Come here for the satay, for the rojak. And the mix, actually, the chicken was extremely good. Beef is really good too. But chicken, I think that might have been my favorite bite. The chicken satay. And they're so nice. Again, so nice, so friendly. That is amazing satay when you're in Patani. Yes, and that completes this Patani street food tour. Five of the top of the best street foods, must eat street foods in Patani that you have to eat. But to be honest, even maybe more outstanding than the food, and the food is outstanding, are the people. Literally everyone we met throughout the day, everyone we talked to, people were so welcoming, so friendly. Uh, some of the nicest people I've met and so it's just for me it's a huge privilege to be here it's an honor to be here to be spending time here in Patani um, in the very far south of Thailand and wow the culture the food the people and I want to say a huge thank you to my friend Yasin his blog is called yes I go and he makes videos about travel thank you Yasin for taking us around and I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'll have a link in the description box. Be sure to check out more videos in this Patani series. I, we're filming a bunch more videos. Uh, so, 
go watch some more videos from Patani and huge thank you for your support. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Patani and I will see you on the next video.